Hey gang, this is not a video to uh, put into my series of uh, you won't believe what I got today, but this is actually a story video and it kind of involves something like this. I want to say before I start the video that uh, I'm really not crazy about guns. Um, I think they make people just go a little paranoid, insane, and crazy, and it just gets to the point where people just want to buy uh, more and more and more of them. And a lot of times people say, well, it's to protect my family or protect my house. But I think, honestly, people just buy more guns because they think, if that darn zombie apocalypse ever happens, we'll be ready. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I, I, I just think that, well, th this one involves somebody who was a little too gun crazy, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain why. This was years ago. Um, this was at the old laundromat that I, that I did videos from over by the old depot. Um, that's now abandoned, of course. And I go there to do some laundry, and I run into WC's wife at the time, Crystal, and her cousin, whose name I can't remember. And we're all sitting around talking, having a good time, goofing off and everything like that. And, uh, and Crystal's cousin is with this guy that after the first couple of minutes I, I meet him, I don't like him. Basically, he is a gangster wannabe, and he's hanging out with WC, which really proves to you what, what good taste he had and people to hang out with and be friends with. Because WC was one of the lamest dudes you ever wanted to meet in your life. So, so what happened was is that uh, he comes in and, you know, he's all trying to be friendly and everything like that. And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure, dude, whatever you, whatever you want to do. And then... You know, and Crystal's cousin starts trying to call him and text him, and they're, and you know, him, him and WC are out riding around, you know, just, just admitting that they're driving by people and yelling and screaming obscenities and you know, driving by women and saying the same thing, stuff like that. And I'm thinking like, yeah, real cool guy, real cool. So, so this this happens about a couple of more times until eventually. He comes back to the laundromat, and he starts yelling at his girlfriend. And he's like, stop texting, stop calling, we're out, we're out trying to have a good time, you're doing your thing here, stop bothering me, you're bugging me, you're bugging me, you're bugging me. And, and WC, who's always been a follower, pretty much says the same thing to Crystal. He says, yeah, have her stop calling and all this, and we're, trying to, we're out trying to have a good time. Blah, blah. So they leave, and I just say something that seemed innocent at the time, I just said, you know, really, you know, he's like, you, you really shouldn't act like that in public, you know, if you, if you, if you're, if you're going to have an argument, save it for at home, don't, don't do it, at, don't do it in public places, because it's kind of, it's kind of embarrassing. Crystal, for some reason, took this the wrong way. She told the guy, and made it seem like that I wanted to confront him and fight him over being stupid. Now, where on earth does that come in to where, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there going like, yeah, I want to kick his butt and all this other stuff. It's like, uh, no. So then all of a sudden the guy gets upset about it and he just goes, well, yeah, I think I, you know, I was like, well, that guy should, you know, should really, you know, keep his opinions to himself. And I'm like, uh, dude, this is America. I have an opinion. I can state it as much as I want to. So then, so then at first he goes, well, I'm going to confront him about it, and I'm going to talk to him about it. I'm going to see what he really said. Then there was one time he had a chance to confront me, but he was in his car with WC, and he didn't step out of the car or nothing, and they, he didn't even say two words to me. He took off. So I'm like, okay, no big deal. Then apparently it, it got a little bit worse, because I'm not sure if Crystal was still antagonizing the guy or anything like that. But then it gets to the point where, he, where, he, where, where I guess it was eating away at him, and he goes, yeah, next time I see that guy... I'm going to jump him from behind. He's not even going to see me coming. And, you know, Reno's telling me this stuff at this point. And I told Reno, dude, that's lame. You know, jump a guy from behind, that just shows you're a coward. He goes, he goes, well, that's what he said he's going to do. So, well, if he's going to try it, I'm going to make sure, you know, keep an eye out for him and everything like that. So, he never did it. He never found me. He never, he never tried to jump me or anything like that. And then it gets to the point now where it gets really, really bad. 
Apparently it got at him so badly, and I'm guessing again Crystal's still antagonizing him. It got at him so badly where he was sitting there going, I'm going to confront him, but I'm going to do it with a gun. And I'm like, what? This moron is going to try to confront me with a gun? So again, it's Reno telling me this. And I said, I said, well, you know what, you know what, you know what, what what's going to happen is going to happen. I mean, if he really shows, if he really wants to show the world he's a coward, and he has to confront me with a gun, fine. When Reno told me he was going to do this, he says, oh, don't worry, he left town. I said, do what? He goes, yeah, he left town. I said, what happened? He goes, well, I told him, if you confront Doc with a gun, and you try and do anything with it, you're only going to make him mad. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> I said, Reno, you used a line from Blazing Saddles to scare this guy off. He said, it worked. He left town two days later. I said, still. <laughs> you used a line from Blazing Saddles to make this guy leave town. He goes, it worked, didn't it? I go, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. So this lame idiot who at first wanted to just talk me about it and then jump me and then use a gun on me leaves town all because of a line from Blazing Saddles from Reno. <laughs> Isn't that something? Anyway, gang, I'm going to get on out of here. i, I got to get a ton of stuff done today before I get to the library. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless you all. And if you like my videos, please feel free to subscribe. And if you know anybody who's like that moron, let me know in the comments below. Take care of yourselves. Try to be good. Try to be good to yourself. Try to be good to others. Until next time, as always, thank you for interrupting. <laughs> Till next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.